welcome to my class to go with Stamp with Michelle Pepper. My name is Michelle, obviously. Um, so it's Wednesday, the 14th of December, and I'm very pleased that you have joined me today. That um, and we're going to do um, our class to go is going to feature the fitting florets paper. So let me just show you here. Um, this is the set of six. Uh, yeah, 12 designs. So there's these six here, which you see are all the more florally, um, foliage kind of um, images. And then um, the back of it, because <clears throat> all our papers are double-sided, um, you get a little bit more solid and more monochromatic um, kind of uh, design. Okay, so yeah, so thanks for joining in. And so without further ado, let's um, go to the crafting table so you can see um, how we make these two cards that are in this class to go today. Yeah. Right, so in today's class, we are going to be using the Fitting Florets 12 by 12 um, DSP. Now, this is only available online, as in it is not in our catalogs, um, because it's a special limited edition product that only um, is available from December uh, the 1st till 4th of January. So um, let me just show you um, some of the, I mean, the papers, what they look like. So there is, they, they're just a mixture of floral. Um, it's, nah, I think it's all occasion. Um, first look at it, you probably think spring, um, but it's actually quite versatile. I think you can use it for any time. I mean, like this quite wintry looking maybe um yeah so but these um that one definitely quite really springy and summery um and with that um like that particular one you can actually cut those with the dies that come with the coordinating uh, stamp and dies bundle um which is the frank florets um also comes with the uh, uh, has a coordinating frame florets dies um, and I wanted to show you how, um, do I have it here? I may have, uh, right, here we go. Like there's this die that goes with um, that flower, that arrangement. Let me just see, where is it? Nope, that way. Just move them around until you find it. So yeah, so see how it just cuts that out easily. Now what I've done is I've actually shown you how um, I've cut these out. Oh, um, you can of course hand cut it like I've done here, All right? Or you can use the die, which would be that. Very similar, um, but of course this would take you a lot quicker than that, All right? Okay, so but that's just to show you um, what that paper can be, you can use that paper for, right? Um, just cutting out the images so you don't even have to colour, you don't even have to stamp. Right, but today we are only really playing, or we will be using this stamp set um, for the words, um, and but we are playing with this, right? So let me, oh, the other side of the paper, so you've got really um, more monochromatic, um, quite nice and sweet and uh, some a little bit more masculine too I think this one the pink ones maybe not so masculine depending on the guys some are okay with using pink um, but yeah so we've got um, and then there's that blue so like the check and that and those are pretty um, masculine gender neutral right so let me just put those aside and now, first class. First class, I mean, it's first card. <laughs> so it's this. Now, this is a variation of the um, my DIY card kit. So every month I um, feature a one of our DSP designer series papers because we have such beautiful designer series papers. Um, and I just pick one each month to feature in my DIY kit. So in the DIY kits, you just get, um, you get, kits you get the um uh, the card kits 
um, and to make all these cards that feature the paper so like this one here so I'll just show you like that um, so basically I've just cut the paper into three by three squares and you use two of them per paper um, uh, per card I mean so and you give it gives you all these different variations right so you can mix and match or you can just use them as I arrange them and um, I'll give you the circle die cuts or um, and also the um, strip so you can choose which one you you use on um, on your cards okay so there's a bit of um, creativity that you can have still but here you go so there's a whole this is the whole range of the six cards that you will get in the DIY kit. Um, so yeah, look out on my website for more details on that. But yeah, so today the first card is a variation of this, um, of this paper. Let me just maybe get it going up because it's on that paper. Um, right. So class to go is different to DIY kits in the sense that class to go you buy um, you purchase $40 worth of products um, with me online um, and you remembering to use the host code and then I will send you um, these card kits there are two class uh, two cards per class and you get four kits two of each right so you can make them at home um, and you have this video as a reference as well so in this card kit, for this first card, you'll get the soft sea foam card base, um, and then you'll have a whisper white sheet to go in there. Probably don't actually need it because this paper, this card slot is light enough that you could write on it, um, and you it'll be visible, illegible. Um, but I always like to put layers, and um, yeah, so I've just included the whisper uh, basic white. It's now called basic white. Um, so I've included that layer as well for you to put in there. So why don't I just quickly... Um, is there any glue? Hello glue, where are you? Okay, it was working. Just kind of shake it a bit. Maybe not, it's running low. Second one. Let's try that one. Yay! Nope. Oh wow, I tried this just before I had this all going. Can't believe it's not coming up. Second one to go. Third one, maybe it's a third time lucky charm. Yay! <laughs> right, here we go. So we've got some glue and we're just going to glue it down. Right, and then you also get this layer which will come embossed already um, with a gingham embossing folder okay and it doesn't really matter which side you want to use um, so it, it doesn't bother me and both works so it's a matter of personal preference okay, just do a little embellishment with my glue Just having a bit of fun right so that's exactly what we've done here okay with the base um except this time i'm gonna have this card going this way Port, uh, landscape this is portrait and this is, will be landscape so these will be like so um yep i'm just gonna oh no what am i doing close it this one here so just putting adhesive in here. I'm running really low on this glue. Um, oh, this is what I do. I try and shake it all out because you know it's really satisfying when you think it's run out, and then when you just give it a good shake, and more comes out. Right. So don't overthink this part. I know um, we have a tendency. I know I have a tendency. Let me just have a okay. Let me get all these glue out. Okay, and 
don't know. Does it matter which way? Okay. Just cut that way. Right, so you just want, especially at this time of the year, you just want them, you know, you want quick cards, you know, because if you think too much, then you become, it doesn't get done, and that's not what you want. Um, right, I have stamped that one, but I don't think I want to use that. I'm not sure, because I think there might be too much white around it, but, you know, it might be alright, let me just see. I'll just stamp using Evening Evergreen um, that is the colorways here we've got Evening Evergreen and Balmy Blue and that's a soft sea foam all right just going to use the sentiment that says wishes for a beautiful birthday sorry about that glare I don't know if that works if I move that away maybe well I'm just going to leave it <laughs> right so you go Right, and it's firmly down. Stamp so beautifully. These fonts are so wonderful. Okay, that's the same as the frame, um, framed and festive one. Right, it's kind of the same. So that's just going to go here. Right, but I am going to add this ribbon in the background too. So with this one, I am going to use my um stamping seal so i'm just going to give it a okay just like just three three little strip not much okay i'm just going to go like that oops so kind of like a swish right kind of look and then that is going to go on top of that right and then i will use dimensional for that so use a tiny dimensional maybe a bit too so i'm just kind of trying not to put it on the ribbon oops picked up another one try and get that Yeah, that's fine. Let me just put that one there. And there. Oh, just let me pick up all these little um, sticky sheets. And yeah, so they're all sticky now. And then I'll just put that on top somewhere. And here is card number one. Told you it will be quick and easy. All right, so, so that you'll get two of these. Obviously, we'll have different um, design paper, um, just because there are six different sheets, double sided, so they're twelve design, right? So you'll get um, you'll get two different ones. Okay, so you have quite different looks. Um, so there, yeah, so that's the variation of my DIY card kit here, um, which you can get, um, or you can get, or you can purchase forty dollars and you. Uh, or more and then you I will send you card kits okay two of these and two of the second card which we're about to do now so card number two um here are the samples all right we've got oh this is looking quite bright <laughs> um yeah so again same kind of theme same kind of um technique same kind of template i think is the word um where we have the we're using the dsp so we're just trying to give you different ways of using designer series papers because sometimes they're pretty to look at and then we um kind of get paralysis as to what do we do with them because they're so pretty all right and then we we kind of want to do it justice but we we are too afraid to get things wrong um so yeah so hopefully these are some ideas that can help you along so in this card, you will get a, whisper, a basic white, I keep calling it whisper white because that's what we used to have, um, but it's now basic white, so a card base, and then um, you'll get two solid color, so depending on which paper you get, um, it will depend on what kind of card, what color card slot you'll get. So in this case, 
with this DSP, um, I went for the Evening Evergreen. All right, so you'll get two solid, now solid cardstock pieces, but they are actually slightly different. One is slightly bigger than the other. Okay, so the smaller one actually goes on the inside. You know how I like to layer my in, the inside of my card. So, um, so let me just, oh, come on, come on, glue. Right, here we go. So you don't use a lot, right, with these glue. Um, it's funny how though, when you, when, no matter how often you tell that, how much you tell that to new beginners, um, they don't hear you because they're so used to um, lathering on the PVA glue or the school craft glue that they use in classes in school. Um, yeah, so it takes a while. Uh, for them to get the message it's when they suddenly get glue psh, everywhere and it takes a long time to dry and then yeah that's so they learn by mistake no uh, by doing <laughs> so then you get also a basic white layer because obviously that's really dark and you if you try to write on it unless you use one of those gel pens white gel pens or i don't know those pens that yeah it might not be legible so um, but I also just really like the look of this on the inside of a car. So that's why I tend to do them. Okay, so I've just got that. Um, and then you can use your bone folder just to burnish it down a bit. So that it stays nice and flat. And then this basic one will go on here. Now, you, I will leave it unembossed. But obviously it's like this sample here. I have embossed it with so the pink layer is embossed whereas this sample here the blue layer is not embossed so um totally up to you and this sample that i'm going to make now i won't emboss it i'll just um just adhere the glue on can you notice as well that i don't put the glue right on the edges because it's liquid it will smoosh out a little bit right when you are when you are when you press it down so and this is exactly the same size or around a, as close as possible. I'm not a machine, so when I cut it, I might have variations of a smidgens, smidgens of millimeters. <laughs> right, so, so that's how it works. Same there. And then you can choose whether you want this side, right? So it's double sided, or you want that side. Okay, and you can varies you can vary this a bit you can i've put mine right in the center but obviously you can put it off site to the side a little bit if you want or that side a little bit or right flushed up so that you have like a little binder look totally up to you this is where you get to um have fun right and be a little bit creative and just put your own spin on it um and of course you can do this side but i am going to uh, very unusual for me because I tend to like the flower bits. Um, so I am actually going to do, I'm going to have the checkered side, or not the checkered, I don't know what to call it, um, the side <laughs> visible. So it looks a bit more masculine as well. Okay. Right. And it's slightly longer. Right, so what I can do is just kind of cut that bit off. Um, could leave it as it is, but I'm going to cut that off just to trim it off. Just making it a little bit tidier. Right, so it's quite manly now, isn't it? Um, it's quite masculine. So I could either do wishes for a beautiful birthday. I could do that. Now, of course, your kit doesn't come stamped, you know, so you'll just get these, all right, and probably some strips as well in case you want to use strips, um, depending on what sentiment you have. So I am thinking I might just do it with that. So I was, oh, that's right. I was thinking that with this one, 
I might use a different stamp set which in your case would be because if you don't have the stamp set that I featured in this class then you'll obviously have to either buy it or um, use whatever you have so this is an example of like if we are using what I have if I didn't have that um, I might go for happy birthday um, I'm gonna stamp that birthday oh I'm running out of blocks I do not have enough blocks I don't know where all my blocks are Ugh. I'm a bit iffy about using this paper. Okay, I'm going to clean this off because I won't be using this. Um, okay, peel that off. I'm going to use this. Right. Which way? This way. So this is clear so I can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm going to use that colour is Evening Evergreen. So let's just stick with that colour. Oh, I'm going for a monochromatic look, this one. I think I am. Right, so just going to take that on here. <coughs> right, birthday. Okay, and I'm going to be brave. And... I am going to, um, sorry, I'm just cleaning my um, stamp, I'm just cleaning it off so that I can put it back straight away. I'm being such a good girl. Of course I don't do that most of the time because I never knew if I'm going to use it again in that crafting time. Um, but, right, I'm going to try this. I'm going to put happy on here. Maybe have it a bit straighter. Right. Right, happy. Let's see. Up a little bit. Hold my tongue right. One, two, three. God loves me. Put it up. Ooh, it's got a bit um that's all right. I'm I'm okay with that, but let's see if I, because that kind of gives it a grungy look. I quite like that actually, but I'll try again on the other side, just to see if I can get a more solid image. Alright, I kind of, I do, I do have a more solid image, but you know what, I really do like this grungy look. So I think I might go with that. Okay, um, right, I'm going to close that, put that away. Right, I will fussy cut this out. Watch me. <laughs> Are you a fussy cutter? Do you like fussy cutting? Have you learned to like fussy cutting? Right. So the trick is, if you don't really know, you're, you, you're actually moving the cardstock more than you are moving your um, scissors. Okay, right, so let me go right here. Right. And I find if I leave a border, I do a better job than if I try and cut um, very close to the outline of the image or the words. Um, Anyway, it's very forgiving when you do it this way, when you are um, leaving a border. Much more than if you try and cut right on the outline. I'm humming Christmas carols. I don't know. I don't know about you, but I have been listening and enjoying Christmas carols. Um, all day long, if possible, in the car, wherever. Um, yeah, so I discovered um, this album, Christmas album, which is called The Birth of a King by an artist, a producer called Tommy Prophet. And um, 
I'm just digging it. So <laughs> I've been playing it on repeat. I've been telling everyone about it too. So if you know me, you're probably sick of that, of me saying, listen to Tommy Prophet. <laughs> um, actually, we had it playing in the background before, but somehow it's been turned off. So probably my youngest boy, because he knew that I was about to start filming. And um, he probably turned it off. Bless him. I'm just taking my time because it's a little bit hard to keep an eye on this and also on the video so that it's actually in frame so I'm like Whoa. and I'm cutting it a bit away from me because normally if I'm cutting it I'll be cutting it here and you won't be able to see anything right, right. birthday so I think I might just do that Right, let's put this away, let's put this away. Bring this back into view. Right, so I might just do something like that. Right in the middle? I could do right in the middle. Or on an angle. It drives some people really crazy. <laughs> I think I'll do that. Yeah, I think I quite like that. So I will do the ribbon thing though. Oops, just knocking everything out. Um, so see, last time, last video, I was having trouble with this, using the stainless steel, but I think I'm getting better at it now. Look at that. Okay. Um, we want a ribbon. thing about this eh? you can readjust things how are we cool are we good I think so we we'll just have to cut that one off a little bit because that's a little bit long but I think I'm happy with that now question is do I want the scallop bit as well is that I'm going for a very feminine, uh, masculine look, so maybe I won't. Maybe I'll leave it. Okay, I will leave out the scallop. So, so I give you those pieces, but you don't actually have to use every single piece that, that is given in your kit. Okay, so let's just do that. Um, paper cuts from these trying to pick it up off the um, surface from these little tiny um, pieces so do that there right there and then I'll lift this one up as well yep do that what have we got here yeah these tiny mini dimensionals are so cool. I love using them. Um, and even when I buy the big one, I actually cut those in half as well. So uh, you can tell that I, I can be quite frugal in, um, in the things that I use. Um, I try, uh, I, I don't think it, uh, I don't think I compromise in, in quality. <laughs> Still make sure that I don't it won't fall off. <clears throat> it's just strategically place those things. Right, so and then if I go here. Okay, so that is card number two. So just like that, so these are like just to show you again. These are all the different variations. I'm just picking that up again. I'm so scared of doing this because I get paper cuts out of it. 
Let me just get rid of those. Right. So, depending if you're on your kit, you know, because it's paper based, so you'll probably get, um, yeah, you won't get exactly the same papers. But I mean, you will get the papers from the range, from this um, paper set. Okay. Um, but here, so there you can just kind of see what that looks like. And then, so first card that we made was this one. And second card that we make is this one. So there you go. Um, thanks for watching. So this is my class to go for this a week. Um, the what are we today? Oh gosh, it's thirteenth of December. Uh, fourteenth of December, Wednesday. Um, and yeah, so if you purchase um from place an order with me of forty dollars or more before the end of uh, Friday. 16th of December and then that will give me time to prepare the kits to send out to you by Monday so I'm not sure if you'll get it before Christmas but um, also this will be the last week of uh, class to go for this side of 2022 uh, this year 2022 the side of Christmas I mean to say um, so I yeah so if I don't see you beforehand I might pop in I don't know um, if I have time you know how crazy things get um, but thank you so much for joining me and um, I really appreciate your support please share the video and tell people about my kits and um, my classes to go that would be really appreciated by me and happy Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, and I'll see you in the new year, if not before. Thank you, bye, guys. Bye.